bottom and stretch it away, girl. The gentlest of yoga stretches for babies who started life too early. Some here were so premature they weren't expected to survive. Dark times for their parents who are now supported by Leo's Neonatal, a charity set up by Lottie King, whose son Leo died shortly after being born at 24 weeks. His twin brother Oscar survived. We then spent a further four months on the unit with Oscar and I just hit rock bottom. You know, I didn't know whether I was coming, I was going, I was not functioning very well. I just was having flashbacks constantly and it was just a really awful time. The charity focuses on mothers, but also those heavily relied upon for support. Dads sometimes have to go back to work after two weeks and that must be incredibly difficult to work around shifts to come back onto the unit and, and then you've got the likes of grandparents and from my own experience, my mum came up every single day. It's impacted her and we were really important about making sure that grandparents get the support they need as well because some of them are there every day. Carol Murphy certainly was. She was with her daughter Emily when doctors warned her that her unborn twins were in serious danger. Emily was told at that scan, the worst we could get is... Sorry. That you, that you might lose them. Yeah, both of them. You're mum and you're supposed to make things better, aren't you, as mum? And um, I didn't know how I was going to fix this. <laughs> Some days you do just think you're on your own. and. and you know, I think it's, it's, it's massively important what Lottie's doing. The charity's research found that 79% of parents felt their mental health was affected during the neonatal period. 78% felt they didn't get adequate emotional support in subsequent pregnancies, while 46% had suffered problems within their relationship. <laughs> Harry keeps Dad active, but his premature birth was traumatic. I try to park my feelings as much as I can, even though I was, I was hurting, I was upset, I was worried, I was stressed, all them things. They were always there for us at the end of the phone or if we needed to talk. You know, they're going through things that same way are. So you're going through the same set of emotions, really. A charity to support families as they care for the most precious of deliveries. Zoe Muldoon, ITV News.